Live from New York, it's The Cube, covering Big Data NYC 2015. Brought to you by Hortonworks, IBM, EMC, and Pivotal. Now your hosts, Dave Vellante and George Gilbert. Welcome back to Big Data NYC, everybody. This is our event within the event, running concurrent with Strata and Hadoop World. This is theCUBE. This is our sixth world uh, in New York, uh, sixth Hadoop World in New York City. Jason Zintak is here. He's the new president and CEO, or actually new CEO, was president, now is CEO of Platfora, a company we've had on and profiled in theCUBE several times. First of all, congratulations and welcome to theCUBE. Yeah, thank you. Uh, very excited to be here. So, what's going on for you guys this week at, uh, at Strata? Uh, well, just about everything. Um, uh, you know, big data is big. Uh, I'm tired. It's a long. <laughs> it's the end of <laughs> <laughs> a lot of customer meetings. A lot of customer meetings. A lot of parties. Exactly. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, we we had a product release last year, uh, last week. So um, our our five O product release is new for us. Um, showcasing it here at the conference. Lots of customer meetings, as you might imagine, uh, and you know, furthering you know just another year uh, in Hadoop and Strata. So. Uh, actually a big change uh, year over year and sort of what we're seeing. How so? What, how would you describe that change? So uh, last year I think, uh, you know, we saw a lot about um, big data with, uh, big data as cost arbitrage. You know, getting rid of legacy BI systems and trying to reduce costs. So merely just a cost play. Uh, this year it seems to be much more about the business use cases. Uh, delivering real value to, to Fortune 100, Fortune 1000 uh, companies. And so I, I see that as the, the largest change where the big data is becoming meaningful. Uh, the insights that people are getting are more than just a cost savings. So let's double click on that a little bit. Um, where are you seeing the value? What are customers telling you? Where are they pulling you, pushing you? Uh, so, so for example, one of the largest insurers in the world just became a customer uh, last quarter uh, of Platfora. Uh, and, and this large insurance company is using our software to do um, to look at uh, uh, fraudulent cases or submissions in claims. Um, so, and, and, a, and a claim may just be a misfiled claim, uh, but their job is to actually reduce the fraud, um, which saves them billions of dollars. Uh, sent, well, billions might be an exaggeration, but hundreds of millions relative to uh, looking for insights around fraud and misfiled claims. And that's real business benefit. It's not just about the architecture right. it's sitting on. That a claims app is the heart and soul of the 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 insurance company. Okay, yeah. so. So what else are you hearing from customers at, at, at this event and as you go, I mean, I know you've <clears throat> really been on for only a couple months, but, um, but you've had experience in this business for a while. So sure. what else are you hearing from them in terms of their, their, their priorities? Yes, business value, you just gave a good example. Um, how about some of their challenges? Sure, uh, you know, there, I think you mentioned to me uh, off camera, there's, there's a lot of vendors in the marketplace, it's crowded, it's confusing, you know, how do, a lot of tools, how do we do it? Uh, I, I think their question is speed to insight. Really, how can I, how can I get the insight faster? So Platfora offers a platform, we're not simply a tool. Uh, we start with the raw data and do discovery against that raw data from the, from the data prep out of raw data uh, in, in Hadoop um, to in-memory processing all the way to uh, uh, graphical visualizations uh, and analysis of that data. And so that's the end-to-end, -end, which is the speed to insight, uh, taking the technical work uh, out of the hands, um, making it accessible, usable for the business user. And to us, that's, that's a value prop we're bringing to the marketplace where it becomes less technical and becomes more usable by a simple business analyst. Do you find yourself going in, we, we've, we hear actually often that um, it takes often uh, two years to go from proof of concept to production on a, you know, Hadoop deployment. Mm -hmm. The struggle is skills and, and sort of what application they're, they're going to use. Do you find yourself being pulled into customers who are like, okay, so help us get to that value point sooner? Yeah, uh, geez, uh, two years, I and mean, it's a long time, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> we're, we're actually, uh, we have customers that do a proof of concept to evaluate us, our prospects, I should say, uh, and they're doing that proof of concept in a week or a day. Uh, and then to deployment, it's, it's roughly one month. Uh, so I'm glad we're not in the two-year category. We're one month to value, uh, quite frankly, from the time you purchased to, to, to deployed. Uh, your comment around um, finding skilled employees uh, to help, uh, that's, a, that's another big benefit of Platform in that we're, we don't require those skill sets because we're making it natively accessible um, to a business analyst to actually curate and do the discovery of the data. And, that again is the, the sort of the end user value of, of our tool. So taking that need for hiring you know, Hadoop experts 
um, out of the equation. Sort of a less need for the data engineer who's going to clean up what's in that raw you know, data lake and less need then for the data scientist to pull signal out of it. More some, something that traditional business analysts can uh, explore and... That's correct, that's absolutely okay. right. Okay. What uh, Talk about your role at Platfora. So Ben, I haven't known Ben for a while. Yes, product sir. guy. Yeah. <laughs> so so he, he got you to come you know, run the company, which is fantastic. For, I'm sure he's thrilled. Gets to sort of go back deep in the product. Uh, talk about um, your background, your role. What's, why'd you come to Platfora? What's exciting you about Platfora? Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Um, well, Ben's not hanging out on a hammock in uh, <laughs> Hawaii, but uh, um, <laughs> we're actually great partners. So. Uh, frankly, in that partnership is a representation of my commercial experience taking products to market and scaling companies. Uh, and Ben is a visionary uh, product executive um, growing up in product. And so I think we're a wonderful complement to go to market together and we do truly partner uh, in that. Uh, my experience comes from um, enter large enterprise ap applications, pardon me. So I grew up at SAP. I, I spent uh, roughly eight years at SAP. Uh, I then had with partners a consulting company that ultimately sold to um, to Capgemini, uh, and then I ran sales and marketing at various enterprise software companies like JDA Software, and most recently Responses, which was an email marketing uh, company where we sold to Oracle. Uh, so uh, various enterprise um, software companies, uh, taking scaling companies from from you know the platforms to the all the way up in, into Fortune 100s. So we t we talked earlier about things being a little little crowded. Sure. Platform was early on. I remember interviewing Ben at one of the very first Hadoop worlds. You guys have been around for a while, but you know the VCs, you know, like sharks smelling blood, and boom, they came in hard into this this market space. So, what do you make of it? You know, you got a lot of experience in both large and small companies. Uh, it, uh, it seems overcrowded, overfunded, um, not a lot of people making money, um, and but huge potential. Yeah. So h help us sum that up. You know, how do you look at that? How do you analyze that? Uh, well, the good news is we're making money, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, and we've been here for four years. We, uh, I'd like to also tell you about our release that we just came out last week. Uh, but um, there's a lot of opportunity in the marketplace, so it's, it's a great time for entrepreneurs to, to truly take a, advantage of a transformative technology. Uh, and that's why we're all here at this show. Uh, I'd say we, ha we have, um, very strong momentum, I and mean, the reason you asked me why I was attracted to Platform was, was because of the actual use cases. So when I see us solving real business benefit, or having real business benefit with large hundreds of millions of returns to our customers, um, uh, that tells me we've got something. And, and it is big logos, it's, it's big, you know, the largest uh, apparel manufacturers, it's uh, the largest publishers and news uh, companies. We have most of the financial institutions as our customers. So it doesn't sound like you're calling on, on a customer who's got a, a business intelligence budget or a business intelligence problem. It sounds like you've got you know, much more of a solutions-oriented approach. Yeah, well, and, well certainly we could, uh, and we do call on those people. Um, and in fact, that's our, our best customers. Uh, but we start with this, whether it's IT or business, we start with the solution in mind. Well, you know, what, what use case or what business problem are you trying to solve? We found that simply experimenting with the technology doesn't end up leading to, uh, you know, to implementation. But if we're trying to solve a problem, uh, Riot Games actually, it was a, a customer of ours that was presenting here on stage uh, at Strata. And you know, their use case is interesting. They're the, you know, one of the largest online sure. gaming companies with League of Legends. And they simply want to improve the gaming experience for the user. And so they use Platfora to um, test and look for interruptions in service and, and w if the game were to slow down, for instance. Um, and, and how to find that improved performance of the game, ultimately making a, a better uh, gamer experience. That's real value. Um, that's something, you know, that's, their, that's their customer. So what's the 100 day plan? You know, new CEO, new president of you know, the, co the country, you know, always has a 100 day plan. What's your 100 day plan? You know, it's taking advantage of all this momentum in the marketplace. Now that, it, now that we're past some of the technical um, uh, evaluations and more into delivering real business value, uh, it's scaling the company. Uh, we spent four and a half years building a, a, a rock solid product uh, and just had our biggest release of the year, 5.0, come out last week. Uh, but now it's scaling that. So it's, I'm actually doubling down. I'm, I'm, I'm doubling the field execution uh, part of our company. And, and, and you're, you're actually sort of net income positive at, at this point. I mean, that's, uh -huh. you know, considering all the competition that's being funded, you know, that's 
that's quite an accomplishment. Yeah, it, you know, it's uh, the company's got a, a bright future, and so I'm looking forward to doing. It. And, and you know, I did mention Five O. Yeah, um, what's, so, what's the headline? Right, I keep what coming headlines? back to that. I want to talk about it. Yeah, uh, let's talk about Five O. No, uh, uh, pardon me. Uh, you know, it's exciting. So Five O represented. Um, uh, it, it, it was actually speed to inside. I talked about that. It was largely around data prep and, and, and a lot of enhancements around data prep. Uh, so actually, we um, uh, we're, we've been working with Spark for the last year, uh, and now Spark is native in the platform, powering our data prep engine. Uh, we um, also it's, it's um, some about openness as well. So uh, we now um, publish natively to Impala and Sentry. Uh, for example, we published to Excel, we published to SQL, uh, and a lot about this is making the platform usable for in a, in a variety of ways. Um, and, and then ultimately the, the combination of these are more options, more ways to deploy Platfora, but, um, but reducing the time to, as, I, as you said, it's not two years, it's actually one month that we're deploying the applications and getting companies live with customer insights, um, or, or fraud insights, or uh, data security. Well, what about the visualization piece? We talked a little bit about that off camera. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you're not a head-to-head -head competitor with, say, a Tableau, mm -hmm. uh, but I could see you bumping into them sure. sometimes. Can you help us understand that a bit? Sure, well, I mean, I think we serve two very different markets. I mean, uh, yeah, we, sure. we, we have a visualization component of our product. It's a third of our product that uh, obviously is the end result of your query. Um, and it's good. But, I mean, but ours is against you know, multi-structured data, yeah. large data. Um, Whereas Tableau is against a curated um, smaller cube, so uh, I think that's the large difference. And and you know we could complement Tableau. Quite frankly, we you know could publish results to Tableau if that were the if that were the preferred method. But our visualization allows it to be uh, closed loop and turnkey. And that's again that speed to value and, and simply put in the hands of a business analyst, they they get their insights that much quicker. Well, it's one less thing to manage. Right? It's one so, that's precisely right. I mean, that's, that's critical. So, I yeah. mean, unless you want to just tinker. But like you said, it seems like people are kind of beyond the tinkering phase. It's like, give me that business value. And that's right, and I'd also say, you know, we're in, I, I, the majority of our accounts, you, you asked about Tableau, also have uh, Platfora. And mm -hmm. so there are different use cases for why you use Platfora versus Tableau. Um, so we coexist in, in accounts. And if someone were curious, I'd, I'd, I'd invite them to, uh, ask us and, and we'd love to sort of help people understand the difference and, or the complement, if you will. Okay, so really focused on building out the field, go to market, um, maintaining that profitability? I mean, is that a priority or do you really need to sort of invest and you know, get, get a bigger footprint? Uh, you know, it's a balanced approach. Um, okay. So we're well for some know, companies, it's not. Some companies is like yeah. No, we're not. We're not spending money. Spend three we're to not get spending one. Monies to go deep into <laughs> debt and, <laughs> yeah. uh, and just to simply scale. Um, I think it's. I just. I just don't think it's prudent. You never know. I mean, look, the economy's already turned. Uh, you know, we want to be here 20 years from now. So we're going to be. You know, we're going to have prudent growth and balanced um, relative to spend and profitability. Uh, but but right now it is doubling down and, and getting more. Uh, feet on the street to represent our brand because we have more interest. So we effectively can't even cover the interest with our current field, which is why I want to build out um, a field organization, not only on the sales side, but on the service. And, and you know, I'm a big believer in customer success. So we're in a renewal business. Uh, and so we have 100% renewal of our, of our existing clients uh, right now. So no attrition. My job, our job as a company is to keep those customers happy and adopting further the platform, growing it through their enterprise. And awesome. that's, that's my number one objective. Uh, Jason, well listen, thanks very much for coming, coming by theCUBE. Say hi yeah. to Ben for us. I will, uh, I really will. A pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much, I appreciate it, gentlemen. Uh, Jason, okay. good to meet you. Take care. Keep it right there, everybody. This is theCUBE, we're live at Big Data NYC. Right back.